Hi, this is Mike from Mike's Unboxing Reviews and How To, and on today's video, my tolerance for this Microsoft BS is wearing very, very thin, and I'm getting really pissed off with all this stuff, the spyware, you know, you've all seen it in the news headlines, everything that's going on with Microsoft spying on you, working out what you're doing, you've got all these AI features, and we just don't want it, do we? Let's be fair. And that's probably why you're watching this video. So today we're going to take a look at a piece of software called XD Anti-Spy. This is actually a kind of revitalized version of the older version of XP Anti-Spy, which was a tried and tested favorite back in the day. It's recently had somewhat of an overhaul in terms of its code and its functionality, and it may be very useful for some of you that are watching. So let's head over to the computer and take a closer look. I'll put links for this in the video description. So it's on GitHub. Very easy to find and go to XD Anti Spy. Current version is 4.10.3. And you want the latest version, which has been updated. Just scroll to the bottom here. You've got various languages and you've got the main program itself. So XD Anti Spy is a zipped program or application and it's only 346 kilobytes in size. So nice and small. So click on the download link, save it to somewhere like your desktop. And that should be done very quickly indeed. So we can now close this window, head to our desktop, and we'll right click and choose Extract All. We'll extract it to the desktop. And there we go. Now this program doesn't need installing. It runs as basically a one-time deal. You can go in and reopen the program if you want to, to make any changes. And before we actually run this, it's strongly recommended that you run a backup of your entire system, or at least run something like the Windows recovery tool or create a new Windows restore point. There's lots of videos on those out on the internet so if you want to see how to do that it's pretty straightforward just type in system restore down the bottom there you can go through and do all that kind of stuff. Anyway make sure you've got a backup always worth doing just in case it makes changes to your system which are not reversible of which a lot of them actually are but we'll take a look at that shortly. So some of the things we've got on here so obviously we've got the search menu there's all this kind of nonsense which goes on in here. We've also got Copilot going on, which we don't necessarily want. There's Copilot down here. We've also got it in Edge. And there's all this nonsense on the side for the weather and all these bogus stories, which you're not particularly interested in. And actually, it's just making your system slower. So let's run XD Anti-Spy. Right-click, choose Run as Administrator. It'll say that it's protected your PC. So just choose Run Anyway. And click on Yes. And here we are. So this is the, the main application window. Uh, you can extend this or expand it, should you wish to. The choice is yours. So let's go through and see what we've got here. So we've got profiles, so you can import or export. So if you want to export one when you've done it, so you can do this on other PCs, you can do, or you can import one, depending if this is a new one or not. You also got tools, so you can refresh the page you also got search for crappy apps. This is pretty cool. We'll take a look at that later. And also there's a standard or accessibility mode. Pressing F2 or F3 changes between them. So it shows you which ones are kind of potentially dangerous or you may not want to do. I'm going to leave it in the standard mode. So let's scroll to the top first of all and look at what we've got here. So there's basically subsections. So we've got ad block, AI, copilot and recall, Microsoft Edge etc etc so we can scroll through those ad block you can read through these for yourself and check out which ones are suitable for you essentially you can pretty much do all of these so i'm going to choose all of the ad block ones so we're going to disable file explorer ads finish setup ads lock screen tips and ads the personalized ads settings ads start menu ads blah blah blah, blah etc you get the general idea so we're going to get rid of all that stuff once you've actually applied this you can click on apply settings if you want to undo something, you can just uncheck it and then click on apply settings again. So that will reverse any of these changes. So if you're not too sure and you want to have a play with this, you can try them, see what they're like. And if you don't like it, you can just undo it by removing the tick box. So we're going to do ad block. We're going to get rid of all that stuff. Uh, AI copilot and recall. These are pretty straightforward. So don't show copilot in taskbar. We definitely don't want that. Don't allow windows to save snapshots of your screen. Yep, we definitely don't want that and don't allow system-wide snapshots. Yep, we don't want any of that. So we'll get rid of those. Then we've got the same sort of thing for Microsoft Edge. We scroll down a little bit. So you've got the first run experience, which is an absolute pain in the ass. You never want that. Uh, the importing of data, gamer mode, copilot symbol and Edge, all this kind of stuff. So yeah, essentially, if you use Edge, obviously do check some of these things to see if they're suitable for you. But if not, we're just gonna go the whole hog and get rid of the lot. 
Now we can go down to the privacy tab. So this one, we've got disable running apps in background. We've got disable find my device and disable privacy settings experience at sign in. So yeah, gonna get rid of all those as well. Also you've got turn off telemetry data collection, which is quite a handy thing in itself. And I think we've actually made a video, dedicated video on that on its own. Uh, next one is for gaming. So for this one, if you use the game DVR for recording, then obviously you can leave that on, but I'm gonna get rid of all of those. And then we've got system wide ones. So you've got the uninstall the fax printer. So if you don't print to fax, which I don't think anyone does, you can uninstall that. You can show the full context menus in Windows 11, which is really, really handy. And the ones that they've selected there as defaults are don't use a personalized lock screen, display highly detailed status meshes, and uninstall XPS Writer. So again, I'm gonna go the whole hog and get rid of all of that. Next one, we've got the taskbar. Now there's one on here which I'm not gonna do, and that is the align the start button to the left. I've actually got quite used to having this in the middle, so I'm gonna get rid of that one. But all the other things here, so disable Bing Cloud Content Search, which is basically what comes up when you click on search here, you get all this Bing nonsense, so we can get rid of all that. Uh, hide most used apps and start menu, pin more apps to start menu, hide chat icon, task view button, widgets, search box, blah, 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 all that kind of stuff. If you want the search box on the taskbar, then you can leave that in there. Actually, I'm gonna leave that as well. So we'll get rid of those and I'm gonna keep those because I personally like that. If you don't want to, just go ahead and click the whole lot. The choice is entirely down to you. So then we've got other tweaks. So clear the icon cache, that can be quite useful. Uh, hide hidden file extensions. I'm not overly keen on that. I actually quite like to see extensions on files, just in case a file is masquerading as something it isn't, such as maybe a PDF or something, which it might not be, and it's trying to get you to click on it. So that one, I would be tempted to leave. Uh, also the snap assist flyout, so I'm gonna get rid of that, and use live theme, we'll leave that on there. And then you've also got enable user account control. Now you, obviously you do wanna have that on because that's uh, pretty handy to do. So I think that's gonna be it for me. So all we wanna do now is click on apply settings, and it'll go through and obviously it will highlight various parts when it's done. So yeah, that's looking much better already. We've lost our setting over here for the weather and all that kind of stuff. Copilot is gone and we've got a, a much better search window now, although we've still got it there. I think that goes after a restart or perhaps you have to get rid of that altogether. So let's uh, get rid of the search box there as well. Apply, so there, our search box is gone. So now we can just use the normal windows. You can search there, so. Yeah, potentially that might be better for you. Again, depends what you wanna do. So that is that side of it. Pretty good, we like this already. This is actually gonna make your system a little bit quicker because all that background stuff is not happening. So now we can take a look at the other tools here. So let's look for some crappy apps. Now this is Windows, so no doubt there's gonna be one or two. What it'll do, it'll check through your system to see which ones you've actually got installed, which you potentially may not want. So Dev Home, never gonna use that. Uh, get Help. Choice is yours, you can have that on if you want to. Microsoft Your Phone, definitely don't use that. Zoom Video, don't use that. The Microsoft Office Hub, the pre-installed Microsoft crapware. Um, choices are yours. I actually do use Microsoft Office, so I'm gonna leave that as it is. And another Zoom Video one, so we can get rid of that. Once you're happy, click on Remove Selected Apps. Now these are ones which can't be undone easily. So obviously this is where your system restore points and your backups are gonna be handy. So if you make any changes here, these are not easily rectified. So do bear that in mind. But when you're happy, you can click on remove selected apps and it will essentially go through and get rid of them. It tells you there, removing Microsoft your phone. This one takes a little while because it's actually quite deeply rooted within the operating system. So just be patient and let it get on and do its thing. And there we go, we come to the end and it says the apps have been successfully removed. So fantastic, so we've just got those ones left. So click OK. So now we can go through and see if there's actually any more we might wanna get rid of by showing all installed. So now there is a huge list of basically all the programs and apps which are installed on the computer. Many, many choices there. So again, if you want to, you can go through these and select them one by one to get rid of them if you actually know what they are. You can make the window a lot wider so you can see what is going on look at the full file names etc there's some things on there which obviously you might want to keep 
So do be careful with this and do bear in mind that some things, if you get rid of them, they may actually damage the system. So like I said earlier, make sure that you have got a full complete backup of your system just in case any of these changes you make cause any detrimental effects to your system. But again, there's some things like Bing weather, you might want to get rid of that. Gaming apps, again, go through, just uh, be somewhat careful what you get rid of. Don't just go randomly selecting everything, otherwise you'll essentially kill Windows. But you can certainly get rid of some individual items. Anyway, so there you go. That is the XD Anti-Spy version 4.10.30, very recently updated. I think it was actually yesterday or on the 22nd of July. 2024 no doubt by the time you watch this there'll possibly be more updates as well but overall i think this is a, a very cool little program and again when you're done if you want to just highlight those and get rid of them delete them send them to the recycle bin you never have to see it again all the system settings will remain in place but if you do ever want to make any changes just run anti spiral exe again go back in it will look at your settings it knows what they are so then you can basically undo them all should you want to the choice again is down to you and we do like to have choice we don't want to have these things forced upon us so there you go there is a uh, nice little program actually very small footprint very impressed with how small it is very easy to download and of course you don't have to physically install it you can run it as a standalone and if you want to you can put it on multiple pcs it's completely free of charge so that's always a nice thing but like i said do be careful some settings in there cannot be undone at least not easily so do make sure you have a full system backup or at least you've run system restore so you can roll back should you make any changes which are detrimental to your system. I think the ones on the front page are going to be absolutely fine for pretty much everyone. Like I said, you can actually restore those easily by just putting the tick box back in or removing the tick box depending on your preferences and you're all good to go. Anyway, I think that's going to wrap this video up. Hopefully you've enjoyed it. If you have, smash that like button. If you want to see more content like this on a daily basis, maybe consider hitting subscribe and also the time notification, that way you'll be notified of future video releases. But for now, I've been Mike, this is Mike's Unboxing Reviews and How To, and hopefully we'll catch you in the very next video. Thanks for watching.